If you're looking... Lee aims a gun at an American Journal news crew. We had it all on video. I'm Nancy Glass, and this is American Journal. faces of the parents who raised him and the father he is meeting for the first time it just has to be absolute hell on earth <laughs> today baby richard the deliverance and his first night at home with his new parents exclusive new video of pamela anderson and hubby tommy lee but brace yourself a gun-toting tommy lee points cocks and threatens to shoot back Right now. A volatile encounter at the home of Hollywood's hottest couple. Get out of here. Today, Tommy Lee, Raw. You'll remember him as Fergie's toe-sucking financial advisor. But Johnny Bryan has hit on some hard times. And you won't believe where we found him. Judging a beauty pageant. He would show up at the judging table with a three-piece pinstripe suit, a bottle of Dom Perignon, and two glasses. Plus, trouble on the set of a new Ace Ventura movie. Jim exploded at his director. Jim Carrey's ego is out of control as his salary. Somebody stop me! Glass, welcome to American Journal. Pamela Anderson's husband, Tommy Lee, brandished a shotgun at an American Journal camera crew outside his home. Well, we kept the cameras rolling, and we'll show you that amazing video later. But first, it was a heart-wrenching scene. A four-year-old boy was taken away from the only mother he has ever known. He was given to his biological father, a man he has never met. The child, baby Richard, has been involved in a bitter tug of love that reached a tearful climax yesterday. We found out how baby Richard spent the first few hours in his new home. An hour before they would relinquish custody of their adopted son forever, the couple known as John and Jane Doe set two bags of his most beloved toys on the curb. Moments later, the biological parents, Daniela and Otto Kirchner, arrived. Neighbors jeered. And then, with the only father he's ever known and his big brother watching, the boy known in court papers as Baby Richard was gently pried from his adoptive mother's arms and handed to his biological father, a man he had never seen before. Richard is four years old. About 200 neighbors in the small town of Schaumburg, Illinois, gathered for the emotional moment. None supported the Kirchners, and Tomaszewski was angry. Yes, if he had any love for that boy, just leave him there. He's been there for four years. He was sobbing, he was terrified, and he was holding on as tight as he could. Please don't make me go, and then to his father, please don't make me go. I mean, this is the most unnatural thing that can be. It's unnatural for a parent to give away their child and then decide that when it's convenient, they want it back. I still don't believe it. I still don't believe it can happen in this country. One woman witnessed the meeting between Otto Kirchner and his son. He promised him that he could call his mom and dad. The Doe's reportedly called the local press to witness the ordeal. Gerald Solaby is one of their attorneys. When it came to the reality that they were going to take this child, we felt it was in the public good to know what a terrible situation was unfolding under our supposed justice system. Lauren Heineman is the attorney for the biological parents. People want to portray them as these hideous, vile monsters, these beasts because it helps people to rationalize the event. But in reality, if they get underneath the surface, you're going to find out that 
These are two very decent and loving people. A new puppy was waiting as the Kirchners put Richard in their van. Then there was a stop at McDonald's and finally a trip to the boy's new home, where Richard reportedly called his older brother at the Doe's house and played with toys. The Kirchners reportedly slept on the floor in the child's room to be close to him his first night. He was at least calm. He was at ease with what was going on. When he first got to the house, he was shown his room. His reaction was uh, two words. He said, oh, wow. But Barry Leventhal, a child psychologist who has met with both sides during this case, says Richard's true emotions have yet to surface. He'll be incredibly depressed and very sad. He'll miss his family desperately, that he will um, be crying, probably be terrified at points along the way. These people were really parents. They would have taken their time. They would have followed professional advice and that would have greatly, I think, decreased the potential that this child will be permanently damaged. The battle for baby Richard began four years ago when his biological mother, Daniela, gave him up for adoption because she thought the child's father, Otto, had abandoned her. Daniela told Otto the child had died. Weeks later, she told him the truth, and Kirchner filed for custody of his son. Baby Richard was then two months old. The couple has since married. All the delays, delays, appeals, and this case is over. After losing early court battles, the Illinois Supreme Court awarded the Kirchners custody of their biological son in January. Before Sunday, they had never laid eyes on the boy. He will have actually everything what he wants. I don't think so. He will miss so much this man. Both sides feel they were right in their struggle for the boy. Both say they acted out of love and parental concern. It is somehow unsettling to learn that only two weeks ago, Richard learned he was adopted. His small voice remains unheard. This is a wrenching uh, experience for everyone concerned, and it is replicated every day across the nation, particularly for people who have children born out of wedlock. I found that once people know the whole story of exactly what happened and know the truth, everyone says what Otto is doing is right. The legal battle over baby Richard is not yet over. The U.S. Supreme Court has twice refused to hear the case, but a third attempt is going to be made. Meanwhile, the adoptive parents have no legal visitation rights. When we come back, Tommy Lee turns a gun on an American Journal news crew. They say Pam Anderson will tame Tommy Lee, but... We'll show you what happened after that next. And later, feuding on the set of Ace Ventura 2. I tell you, it's not easy being a rug. Ooh, that's cold. No respect at all. Hey, that hurts. Ooh, watch it. My whole life, I keep getting stepped on. Oh, no, rug burn. I tell you, I got the dirtiest job in the house. The germs, the smells, they keep coming. Oh, look at me. I'm a mess. Oh, I'll never meet a girl rug. Lady, we've been through this before. Spray-ons, rub-ins, they make things worse. Oh, I need the rug, doctor. Yeah, here it comes. Ooh, lower. Ooh, to the left. You are there. Only Rug Doctor's vibrating brush can do that. Right, kid? Ooh, I must have lost 20 pounds. Oh, not another one. Hey, lady, better keep the Rug Doctor around. Hey, not here. Go find a tree. A when you rent hydrant. a new lightweight Rug Doctor, clean carpets are easy. Rent at supermarkets, hardware, and drugstores everywhere. Or you can buy one. Call for $50 off purchase or $5 off rental plus this free brochure. 1-800-RUG-DOCTOR. I probably wouldn't be alive today if I hadn't got help with my alcohol problem 29 years ago. Since then, I've lived a full life in great health. I ran 32 miles on my 58th birthday. But best of all, this little girl has never seen her grandpa take a drink. For 24-hour help, call 1-800-95-KOALA at Koala Hospital and Counseling Centers in Plymouth, South Bend, and Fort Wayne. Dairy Queen is introducing three nutty new Blizzard flavor treats and Breeze frozen yogurt treats. There's the breathtaking chocolate almond, 
I love this. Awesome pecan crunch. I want one. And tantalizing walnut fudge. Three new nicely nutty blizzard and breeze flavors. Only at Dairy Queen. Hot eat, cool treats. We treat you right. Some have said that marriage to Pamela Anderson will have a calming influence on the wild ways of rocker Tommy Lee. Well, it seems she still has a lot of work to do in taming her new husband. You see, Tommy Lee brandished a gun at an American Journal camera crew outside the couple's home. He appeared to load it and he threatened to shoot. Elisa White has the exclusive story. If rock and roll star Tommy Lee seemed at first to be enjoying himself as he basked in the spotlight with his new wife, Pamela Anderson, he apparently doesn't find the public attention amusing anymore. This is how the former Motley Crue drummer greeted our camera crew the other day when we tried to videotape the newlyweds' new home in Malibu, California. The tattooed rocker cocked a shotgun and threatened to, well, shoot right back at us. Not exactly the sort of behavior you'd expect from a man enjoying a new life with one of the world's most alluring women. It was just weeks ago when Pamela moved her husband out of his bachelor pad and into this magnificent $2.5 million home high in the scenic Santa Monica Mountains. In this exclusive video, Tommy Lee and Pamela, two months after their marriage, are enjoying each other's company, and they seem to be having a heck of a time playing house. Right now, Tommy and Pam could not be happier. They're in newlywed bliss. Star Magazine columnist Janet Charlton. Pamela wants to make it an ideal romance. Pamela does have white picket fence in the back of her mind. She wants a happy little family, a beautiful home. She wants According to, to Charlton, the couple has signed a six-month lease on their Santa Fe-style house. Only a week after moving in, they've already sunk a small fortune into renovations and redecorating. Right now it has a soundproof little room so Tommy can record, which would be perfect for a recording studio. Pam is already planning to plant a garden. She wants lots of flowers and lots of vegetables. She wants to make Tommy healthy. She's doing a lot of cooking at home. She's really become a housewife. Pamela and Tommy are often seen around town doing ordinary things. Charlton says behind the scenes, there is a reason Pamela is so determined to live a quiet, low-key lifestyle. Pamela wants to tame her husband down. When Tommy's on the road, he's with the guys, and they party. They go to strip clubs. They have wild parties. There are a lot of groupies involved and a lot of temptations. The only advice I can give Pam is good luck. That's all. Good luck. Bobby Brown was Tommy's fiance and living lover for two years. She says Mr. Lee was hardly Mr. Faithful. He was cheating big time. Lee's stormy marriage to Melrose Place's Heather Locklear also raised questions about his ability to be a one-woman man. Right now, Tommy is perfectly happy with Pamela. He knows that he's got the, the most gorgeous blonde in Hollywood, and at this point, he's uh, completely content with her. The day we were in the neighborhood, construction crews were busy working the grounds of the new home. Our camera crew positioned itself on a public street and started to tape when suddenly... The master of the house, Mr. Lee himself, appeared on a second-floor balcony, waving a shotgun and screaming obscenities. In this case, we thought it prudent to pack our gear and leave the location. Tommy Lee's spokesman gave us a terse no comment when we asked him about the shotgun-wielding incident. 
And when we showed the videotape to Los Angeles attorney Royal Oak, he had this to say. It's against the law to point a gun at somebody unless you're doing it in self-defense. And if you're doing it in a rude or angry or threatening manner, and if you're in their presence, you're guilty of a misdemeanor in California. We certainly hope the beach bride and her groom have many years of happiness. And to that end, we have a belated wedding gift, a decision not to press charges. Well, Tommy Lee has already had one brush with the law over a gun. He pleaded no contest to carrying a semi-automatic pistol at L.A. airport. He was sentenced to a year's probation. When we come back, tension on the set of a blockbuster movie. Ace Ventura 2 is not a pleasant set to work on. Jim Carrey's ego is out of control at his salary. Is success spoiling Jim Carrey? Jim stomped off, went into his trailer, wouldn't come out until the director was changed. That's next. Travel provided by Continental, offering business first, first class service at a business class fair. Wednesday on American Journal, Susan Smith drowned her young son. Now an exclusive look at her ex-boyfriend and his family. See how this has changed them forever. Al Rally here. I had to get away from my brother Ray to tell you about my latest creation, Rally's new chicken fingers. You mean the world's fastest chicken fingers, Al? I think people care more about how they taste, Ray. Well, sure, they taste great, but people won't wait all day. They want them fast, Al. Take it. Oh. That's not what I was going to say, Ray. What I was going to say is, try Raleigh's new tender, tasty chicken fingers with your choice of sauces, just $1.99. Raleigh's, twice as good. Twice as fast. This is my commercial, Ray. You're holding up traffic, Al. That never happened when I was in the commercial. My husband is a do-it-yourselfer. I indulge Mr. Fixit in all of his do-it-yourself fantasies, except for one, protecting our family. Hey, honey, did you plug in the drill? What would I do without you? You'd probably do it yourself. But when it comes time to protect your family, you need an expert, like your Farm Bureau insurance agent. It's amazing all the things a pro knows that most people never think of. Hey, uh, honey, can you get me some buckets? Are you sure you don't want to do it yourself? For Mother's Day, Maya oh. has everything from... How'd you know? ...to... Oh, you sweet thing. We even have... Oh, my. <laughs> and always... Oh. ...more for less. Make Mother's Day special for her. Get a wicker picnic basket with 20-piece dinnerware and tablecloth only $17.97. And Mom would love a Remington hairdryer just $17.99. The Meyer Mother's Day sale. Oh. With savings like this, you'll... Love it. ...as much as she will. Come on, give Mom a big old kiss. In a park designed for the ultimate thrill, the visitors... You feel that? ...became the main attraction. Look out! movie ever made comes to television for the first time. Oh, that's nice. Gotta go. Sunday, May 7th at a special time. Free! Everyone will be watching Jurassic Park. Sunday, May 7th at 8, 7 Central on NBC. The Lebovoff Law Offices, a law firm that represents people injured in accidents. No one knows better than those hurt on the road how much an accident can disrupt your world. Nothing can change what's already happened. But there are laws that help you provide for those you love. And the right lawyer can pull your life back together. Call a law firm that stands by the people. Call a law firm that works for the people. The Lebovoff Law Offices represent people injured in accidents. Please call 423-2581. Over a year, Jim Carrey went from a minor role in a TV series to becoming one of Hollywood's hottest, most successful, and highest paid comedians. That's pretty incredible, and it's enough to go to anybody's head. Well, right now, Jim Carrey is shooting the sequel to his hit movie, Ace Ventura, and as Lauren Terry reports, there have been some superstar tantrums on the set. I've got a little snack for you. <laughs> Jim Carrey turned into a box office superstar overnight with his role in Ace Ventura and his role as the Riddler in This Summer's Batman is, by all accounts, another smash. Now in San Antonio, Texas, Carrey's working on the sequel to his Ace Ventura pet detective blockbuster. 
but we're told that something's gone wrong on the Texas set. Some folks are saying that Jim Carrey has changed, that something very puzzling has happened to this really nice guy. Celebrity journalist Marianne Norbaum. Ace Ventura 2 is not a pleasant set to work on. Jim Carrey's ego is as out of control as his salary is. In the original Ace Ventura, Jim's salary was $350,000, paltry compared to what he's making now. For the sequel, his pay is a reported $15 million. Now, with all that income at stake, some observers believe Carrie might be putting too much stress on himself and taking it out on the people around him. Director Tom DeSerchio of Ace 2 was one of the first to take a fall. Jim exploded at his director and said, you don't understand me, you don't understand my artistic ways, you're not doing this right, and if we don't get it right, the critics will hate me. Just exploded, stomped off, went into his trailer, wouldn't come out until the director was changed. Not only was the director replaced, Carrie's co-star, Georgiana Robertson, seen here in the movie Ready to Wear, was also let go. She was on the ace set for exactly half a day before she was told to take a hike reportedly for not working out. He picks women, uh, he picks co-stars in general who are people he can dominate on the screen. There's nobody who is going to stand up to him as a performer and be his equal on the scene and on the screen. Jim is going to be the star of this movie with no competition from any of his co-stars. Is this acting like a big star? I'm leaving. Yeah, Jim Carrey certainly seems to be a case of too much, too soon, too fast. He doesn't seem to know how to control it. As he goes along, he's letting it control him. Somebody stop me! And in addition to those problems, there were reports that Carrie's co-star had actually quit that project because she felt the plot had racist overtones. When we come back, a glamorous new role for the man who was caught in a compromising position with Fergie. Home, That's next. Accommodations provided by Hilton. The next time you travel, come to Hilton. We'll turn your business trip into a real pleasure. Hilton, so nice to come home to. American Journal will be right back after these messages. These have always brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. White Diamonds for Mother's Day. A $117 value, just $45. Sarah Lee Cheesecake. It's incredible what people will do for the only cheesecake good enough to be called Sarah Lee. Nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. You're looking for something different. Imagine the lush taste of paradise. Tropical passion. New from Crystal Light. Pink strawberry with a kiss of kiwi. Passion fruit with a splash of pineapple. Light, refreshing, and just five calories. If passion had a taste, this would be it. New from Crystal Light. At some point, you have to decide to follow your dreams. That's why I got my bachelor's degree from ITT Tech. Some days can be pretty rough. And the traffic can be a bear. But I know I did the right thing. Every time I see the view from my office. Next time on American Journal, Michael Jackson has in-law trouble with Priscilla Presley. Here's a preview. 
Michael Jackson with in-law trouble. Lisa Marie feels that her mother is being a little bit hypocritical. A rift between relatives. Michael, Lisa Marie, and Priscilla Presley. Plus, Pat Boone's an American symbol of goodness and purity, but behind his wholesome image was a cheating heart. Man, I feel the same lures and attraction. Pat Boone, as you never believe. You'll see those stories next time. And finally today, he became famous by being seen in a, well compromising position with Fergie. Johnny Bryan is the financier who was photographed making out with the Duchess of York. Well, Bryan still has an eye for beauty. Here's Elisa White. Although he's a wealthy American businessman and jet setter, you probably know Johnny Bryan better as the man seen in a shocking series of photos sucking the toes of the Duchess of York. What is your exact relationship with the Duchess, Mr. Bryan? The ensuing controversy thrust Johnny Bryan, the financier with a fancy for Fergie's feet, into the glare of a global spotlight. Since then, we hadn't heard much about Bryan. According to recent published reports, Bryan has landed in financial trouble. His London-based company is said to be in debt, so you'd expect him to be busy at his desk. Well, not quite. We found Brian trying his hand at a new job, a judge at the annual Miss Hawaiian Tropic beauty pageant in Florida. Very articulate man, uh, uh, extremely intelligent, uh, incredible, uh, well-dressed, uh, trim, fit, uh, just a... Uh, uh, perfect, perfect gentleman, and just, just a very nice person. Ron Rice, who built the suntan lotion business, says he met Brian in London and invited him to judge the contest. He was elated. He just, he said, I'd love to do this right down his line. And he, uh, he was the first one off the plane and <laughs> ready to go. He would show up with, uh, at the judging table with a uh, three-piece pinstripe suit, a bottle of Dom Perignon, and two glasses. <laughs> So if we can judge a judge by his past, we're certain Mr. Bryan did his best to uphold his reputation. We've got to have the right people. So the, the judges are qualified and they, they uh, definitely uh, pick us the best girl and this is what we have to have. And Bryan is being invited back as a judge next year. That's all for today. I'm Nancy Glass. Please join us again tomorrow for another American Journal.